Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Recently someone asked me why their uh, Power Boost shield was not working. Uh, it's really difficult to troubleshoot um, something like this uh, remotely. I don't know the history, whether or not any of the components were working and then a project was assembled and then it stopped working, whether it ever was working, what the source of the parts uh, are. There's just so many variables. It's very, it's very difficult. But I thought I'd take this opportunity to make a quick video recording with the Blue Yeti microphone and just uh, going through the logistics that are going to be a little bit different instead of just uh, using the audio that is synced to the video on the Handycam. Uh, in this case, I'm going to have a separate audio track uh, from the Blue Yeti uh, recorded with Audacity. I did some clapping before uh, I started uh, talking. So I sync up those two uh, peaks in the audio uh, with the audio from the Audacity and the audio recorded with the Sony Handycam. And then once that's uh, synced up, I can then delete the audio file uh, associated with the Sony Handycam. Of course, it's it's more important when you have uh, the video on the individual and you're seeing their lips move. Uh, you know, it's a little bit uh, more prevalent uh, if you have the audio not synced with the uh, lip movement, uh, sort of like a, a dubbed in uh, Chinese martial arts uh, movie. But anyways, back to the question, um, you know, what would I do? Well, I'd first make sure that my Arduino Uno was still working. So however you connected this up previous to trying to use the uh, Power Boost Shield, hook it up and download a sketch through the USB cable. And well, it's going to be powered up through the USB cable and see if you know this is still working if this is not working well then you have to probably purchase another Arduino Uno but say this is working you can put that aside well I don't know if there are clones out there for this but this is the official Adafruit Power Boost Shield and in my case or in the Adafruit case you have to, some assembly is required so I had to solder on these um, header uh, pin connectors here and you want to make sure if you did if you had to do the same thing make sure that you didn't miss the 5 volt pin make sure that you your solder uh, is correct that you know there's no shorts you didn't miss a pin because basically you just have the 5 volts going through this pin to your Arduino Uno on the 5 volt pin associated with your Arduino Uno so, uh, I believe I had to, this was an option, I think I purchased this separately, the on-off switch on the Power Boost Shield. But uh, I was asked whether or not the Power Boost Shield worked by itself, and I never really thought about it. Um, so, you don't have to hook this up to anything. You know, you have the option, of course, uh, this specifically is made for powering up your project with a battery. So you don't have to have it tethered, you know, through a USB cable. But, um, so you have your battery too. And I don't know the source of the battery, whether or not your battery has a problem, whether or not your battery ever worked. But, you know, there's, there's some circuitry on here. There's not much you can do about that. But you have this physical wiring that goes to this physical connector. So you want to make sure that, you know, the power is getting to your connector. You don't have to have a meter. You can just take a resistor. In this case, it's a, you want to limit the current. It's a 330 ohm resistor. Just put that in on the negative side in this case. Take an LED. Just want to make sure that um, you know you get the proper polarity here. Uh, if it's reversed, it just won't turn on. Uh, you're not going to damage the battery. That's why you don't want to short. You want to limit the current. So I have the resistor here. And I want to take my positive lead here because I have the, bat the uh, resistor on the negative lead. And hook this up. So I'm lining up my LED. 
It's a loose fit there with this resistor lead. Let's get that back there so you can see there. So that tells me I have power making it to this point. So now let's hook up the battery to the power boost shield. And I have a light. That's the five volt indicator light. So I have the battery hooked up. It's, it's working. The power boost shield is telling me at least it's, it's indicating that it's measuring the five volts on the five volt battery here. On the 3.7 volt battery, it has the power uh, boost here. Um, so you can turn this off, turn it on. And it has a couple of LEDs here that indicate uh, when it, the battery is being charged. And you charge that battery by hooking up your micro USB. So there's the charge indicator. It has a low uh, voltage indicator here. When it gets below, I think, 3.2 volts. So that's not going to indicate that because everything's working properly. So the power boost shield seems to be working um, as far as these indicators go. But like I said, uh, the only thing this is going to create five volts from a 3.7 volt battery. And it's going to feed that five volts through a physical connection, this pin, to your Arduino Uno. That's basically it. So just take, um, you know, in this case, I have a meter here. And I have it hooked up to the 5 volt pin. And I'm measuring 4.56 volts. So I have the voltage, the 5 volts. Now again, um, you know, maybe... You miss that solder joint for that particular pin feeding the five volts to your Arduino Uno. But basically that would be the methodology is to break this up into, into pieces like that. Uh, it's parts to make sure each individual part is working on its own. Um, I guess you could take, again, an LED, if I can see that. Put it into the five volts and then there's the ground i don't know if that's the five volt pin there or not there we go it's just i've got the five volts so that's a, what that's how I would approach it, is to make sure all the individual components are working. And if that's the case, uh, it should work when you put the individual components together. And you could just use the whatever sketch you previously loaded onto your Arduino Uno. Say you just want turning an LED on and off and then try to do that with the power boost shield hooked up, uh, supplying the voltage from your, uh, your battery. So I hope you found this video helpful. Um, you know, even in my case, uh, I had another fluke. I had, uh, I had attempted a dry run last night on how I would uh, produce this video. And then today I go to do the same thing and I'm not measuring five volts. I'm measuring like a, a volt low. It's really humid today. And I found out that my other fluke, antique fluke here, uh, is not working. It seems to measure uh, a negative uh, voltage with nothing connected to it. So it's uh, out of calibration. I don't know, something, some part is being, might be uh, the high humidity that is doing something um, 
don't know if it's more humidity, more humid today than it was yesterday, but yeah, so things do go wrong and you just have to, you know, go through what could be the possible problem, you know, uh, I had to figure out whether it was my meter or whether it was, you know, I had shorted something and damaged uh, one of my, uh, my power boost shield uh, while trying to produce a video on how to troubleshoot, which would be ironic. So I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, please subscribe, like, and or comment, and tell me what you think about the audio. Thanks for watching.